Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Philip Carey. Welcome to another uh, day on my vlog channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm all about letting you guys, you guys know what my life is about. Recap. Ready for this? So I'm an orphan. I live with my uncle. My dumb uncle is a priest and he's pushing me to become one too. Ugh. Why would I ever become a priest? I just hate how controlling he could be. He keeps pressuring me on how I could, should act, what I should be. It's so annoying. Hey, what up you guys? It's your boy, Philip Carey. I just want you guys to meet my best friend, Hayden. You can see we're best friends. We're matching. Yeah. He lives on the edge. He's so adventurous. You guys just need to see all the places he visits around the world. Check him out on Instagram. I am completely jealous. I do need to learn some things from you, dude. You live a life that is completely about living in the moment. How do you do that? Yeah, man, I always try to live in the moment. I once read this quote from some book. One sec, let me check my phone. Hold on. All right, it's from some book called Of Human Bondage. It goes, life wouldn't be worth living if I worried over the future as well as the present. When things are at their worst, I find something always happens. You know, man, I just try to live in the moment. This is how I live my life. You should live in the moment and not worry about anything else. Yeah, man. Peace. Yo, what up you guys? It's your boy, Philip Carey. Today is a very special video. I think you should drop a like if you're excited for it. Today, it's 20 questions with my girlfriend. Here she is. This is Millie's first time on the show. Say hi to all the viewers. Hi. Okay, let's start with question number one. Where did we first meet? I don't know, where I used to work or something. Maybe I picked you up in the street, I don't even know. Can I leave now? Yes, you were right, kind of. It was where you used to work. Isn't she adorable, guys? <laughs> okay, question number two. Why do you love me? I don't. Why would you say such a thing? Come back. Ugh. Millie, please come back. No, Philip, I hate you. Please, Millie, I love you. I don't love you. What don't you understand about that? I just use you. Millie. I'm leaving. Okay. So you guys, Millie and I just broke up, but it's all good. I got, got my cat, I'm feeling good. But, you know, I think it is for good this time. You know, it's third time's the charm. <laughs> but if you guys, you know, drop a like, maybe subscribe, I think each one of those will help me feel a little bit better. Hey guys, it's your boy, Philip Carey. I'm gonna tell you this quick story for this week's video. Now, it's a little sad, so if you need tissues, if you're a little sentimental, it's okay. So here we go. Last summer, I went to Paris to follow my dream of becoming a professional baker. You guys know about that, though. I started a culinary school for beginners. There are some people who were there who have been attending for over three years, but for some reason, they haven't moved up in a class. I realized it was because they suck at making food. It actually like tasted like garbage. But this one girl, she didn't know she was bad. She kept living the life she, she always did, completely blind. She had no talent, but lived for this false sense of worth. When she found out she was a complete mess, she ended up killing herself. It was terrible. Hashtag so sad. It made me realize that she feared the truth and it ultimately, ultimately broke her down. I don't want to live that life. I can't be afraid of the truth. So oh, what up you guys? It's your boy Philip Carey. I just wanted to let you know that I dropped out of school. I realized it wasn't for me. I couldn't handle that structured lifestyle. I couldn't handle that misery anymore. When I was looking up some other people's advice, I found this quote that I could totally relate to. I think it was the same book that Hayden was actually talking about the other day. It says, schools are made for the average. The holes are all around and whatever shape the pegs must wedge in somehow, one hasn't the time to bother about anything but the average. I really resonated with this quote and it helped me convince my uncle and principal to let me drop out. I know I will live a better life. I think I should read this book. It seems like I can relate. Yo, what up you guys? It's your boy, Philip Carey. I just wanted to talk to you guys. This has been a crazy year and a crazy journey. I really learned a lot. I need to let go of everything holding me back like my uncle, Millie, and the fear of truth. I really do feel free, guys. It was a transformative year and I'm so happy I got to go on this journey with you. Oh, and on a side note, I got that book, A Human Bondage. Let's see if I like it. Now, like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video, and if you want more, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And if you have any other ideas, leave them in the comments down below. I'll read them all. Love you guys. Bye.